In a previous video, you learned how to add integers. In this video, you will learn how to subtract integers. When you add and subtract, they're pretty much the same thing, actually. So what you've learned previously will also apply to this lesson. Subtraction is simply adding the opposite. So for example, if you had 5 minus 2, which obviously equals 3, that is the same thing as thinking of it as adding the opposite, which would be 5 plus a negative 2. So you're adding the opposite of 2, which is negative 2. So 5 plus a negative 2. And as we learned in the last lesson, you simply subtract 5 minus 2 and then keep the sign of the bigger number. And the 5 is bigger and is positive, so my answer is a positive 3. Now in symbols, you can write this as a minus b equals a plus negative b. And that's for any real number, a and b. So, in other words, a minus b equals a plus the opposite of b. Now, as we get into subtraction problems, um, it is good to know the different parts of a subtraction problem. So, here, if you had 8 minus 5 equals 3, the 8 is called the minuend, the 5 is called the subtrahend, and the 3 is called the difference. You don't see these terms too often except for the word difference. So the word difference you definitely need to know because you will see that all the time. So if you see the word difference, think subtraction. So this question might be asked as, what is the difference of 8 and 5? What you would do is you subtract 8 minus 5. All right, now that we got that taken care of, let's work with some examples. So we are rewriting the following examples as an addition problem. So 6 minus 15, I can rewrite this as 6 plus negative 15. Okay, so we're adding the opposite of 15 to 6. Negative 6 minus 10 is the next example. That is the same thing as adding the opposite of 10. So we have negative 6 plus negative 10. So in English, we can say that we are adding the opposite of 10 to negative 6. Next example, we have 6 minus negative 7. So we are adding the opposite. So instead of subtraction, we are adding and the opposite of negative 7 would be plus 7. So 6 minus negative 7 is the same thing as 6 plus 7. And in English, we can say we're adding the opposite of negative 7 to 6. So let's note quickly here that the two negatives do make a positive. That sometimes confuses many people. Um, an easy way that I remember this personally is I think of the English language and if you have a double negative that is the same thing as a positive statement right if you said I will not never do something the double negatives means that you will do something it's a positive statement so the two negatives do make a positive uh, when you are dealing with addition and subtraction can else work with a few examples where you need to subtract the following on your own. Here we have negative 3 minus 2. So to subtract this, you can think of this as negative 3 plus a negative 2. So as you learned in the previous lesson, if you're adding two numbers with the same sign, you will add the absolute values, so the 3 plus 2 would give me 5. Okay, that gives me 5, and then I keep the sign of the different numbers. So the signs are negative, so this answer would remain a negative. So my final answer would be negative 5. Okay, next example, 4 minus negative 8. So we stated that if we have minus a negative number, that is the same thing as adding 
So this would become a positive. So that is the same thing as 4 plus 8, which would equal 12. Next we have negative 5 minus negative 6. So once again, minus a negative would make a positive. So this becomes negative 5 plus 6. So negative 5 plus 6, we are adding with two different signs. One is negative, one is positive. So to add those, we need to subtract the two numbers, 6 and 5. 6 minus 5 is 1. And then we keep the sign of the bigger number, which the bigger number was 6 and is positive now. So my final answer would be a positive 1. Let's look at a few more examples where now we are given English words and now we need to sub, uh, set up the subtraction problem as well as solve. So here we have subtract 7 from negative 6. So we have negative 6 and we're subtracting 7 from that. So we have negative 6 minus 7. That is my setup. I can think of this as an addition problem. I can think of this as negative 6 plus negative 7. And because the signs are the same, they're both negative, when I add them together, I just look at the number part, so the 6 and the 7. And I add those together to get 13, and I keep the sign, which is going to be negative. So my answer would be negative 13. Next example, we have subtract negative 4 from 12. So my setup is I take 12 and then I subtract negative 4 from 12. Okay, so I have 12 minus negative 4. Well, the minus the negative the, would make a positive. So the double negative makes a positive. So this becomes 12 plus 4, which would equal 16. So my solution would be 16. Next, we have subtract 10 from negative 5. So my setup is I take the negative 5 and then subtract 10 from that. So I would have negative 5 minus 10. I can think of this as an addition problem. So this would be negative 5 plus the opposite of 10, so plus a negative 10. So to solve this, I have the same sign. They're both negative. So I add the 5 and 10 to get 15, and then keep the sign, which is negative. So my solution would be negative 15. Let's do some more examples where now we have word problems. Word problem number one says, on the Fahrenheit scale, what number is 50 degrees below freezing? So this would require that you know what the freezing point is on the Fahrenheit scale, which if you know that, that would be 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So 32 degrees is freezing. And then what number is 50 degrees below freezing? So 50 degrees below means I'm subtracting 50 from 32. So my setup would be 32 minus 50. Okay, I can think of this as an addition problem. 32 plus a negative 50 where the signs are different. One's positive, one's negative. So when I add in this case, I subtract the 50 and the 32, and that's going to give me 18. And then I keep the sign of the bigger number. So the 50 was bigger, and it's negative. So my answer will be a negative 18. Example 2. Matthew's golf score is 5 below par and Kayla's score is 10 above par. By how many strokes is Matthew ahead of Kayla? So Matthew's score, so Matthew is 5 below par, meaning that would be a negative 5. Kayla is 10 above par, which would be a 
positive 10. And the question is, how many strokes is Matthew ahead of Kayla? So what I'm doing is I'm finding what is the difference between Kayla's score and Matthew's score. So if I take 10 minus negative 5, I subtract the two numbers, that would give me my solution. So minus a negative would be a plus, it becomes positive. So we have 10 plus 5, which would be 15. And that concludes our lesson for today.